Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ah, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to your class. It is a big pleasure to have you here. And I am very glad to be here with you today. I am very sorry for yesterday's inconveniences, but I have something that I was not able to, to teach yesterday, but I am here. <laughs> I am sick. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, I have a lady fever. Oh Little really? Fever. Oh my goodness. Yes. So you have to be, did you did you take your medicine? Did you take medicine? Yes, yes, oh. teacher. I, um, uh, taking uh, medicine. Okay. Okay, so you have to keep a lot of water there and, and let's be careful and let's keep an eye on that fever. So it, if it gets higher, so it's better if you go to the hospital because that's not good. So okay. keep it, keep hydrated. That's important. Okay, so welcome. Welcome to your class. Welcome to your Monday. How was your weekend? What did you do on the weekend? Uh huh. Tell me, tell me. What did you do on your weekend, people? My weekend is good. Your weekend was good. Uh, yeah, uh, it's very good that time with my family in, in the uh, park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good time. You spend time with your family. Hey, that that's that's nice because you have the chance to to actually spend some moments with them and for sure to share uh, different activities, right, with your family. So that's that's a good thing. Did you have the chance to advance on the platform yesterday and and during the weekend? Yes, I advance. Okay, very good. Hello, Oscar Eduardo. Welcome, Elmer, Daisy, Marbelli, and all my students. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Thanks. I'm back. I'm alive. <laughs> teacher, are you okay? I am I am better now. Yesterday I was not good at all. <laughs> it's because I, I went to the dentist and I got one of my uh, teeth removed. And so it was very painful yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Tuve un procedimiento ahí dental y me sacaron una muela, entonces fue como impossible. <laughs> yesterday was impossible. Today I am like a little bit better now, so I can. I can do it today. So, ya, ya hoy ya sobreviví. Sobreviví todo el día, así que dije yo. Hoy sobrevivimos a la clase. So I am, I am here. Okay, so let's work because that's like what we are here for. I send you a couple of images to your chat. Uh, because we are going to work on them. We are going to work on, on the pictures. We are going to work on these activities, right? So uh, we're going to do this later on. I send it to you on your chat in WhatsApp. So you have them there. You have the questions there. So we are going to be discussing them, right? We have different types of questions. For example, the first one, it says, how often do you exercise, right? How often do you exercise? That is the first question. Let me just move it a little bit here. The next question is, 
Have you listened to a new art, artist or song in the past week? The next one, what famous person's biography do you know well? The next one says, what kind of music do you listen to when you do exercise? The next one says, can you mention anybody, either famous or a relative or someone that you know, who has changed career? The next one, what sports do you enjoy playing or watching? The next one, do you think talking about emotional health is important? Why or why not? The next one, what kind of music good do you- evening. Hi, good evening, welcome. The next question says, what kind of music do you listen to when you meet friends? And the next question is, what was the last concert you have attended? The next one, have you ever got injured? Injured, mere hurt, right? Injured is like if you have been hurt, you have been hurt, you have been hurt, you have been hurt. Have you ever got injured? The last ones say, how has your life changed in the last year? And the final question, what kind of music do you listen to when you need to relax? So those are the questions that we are going to be working on. So from all these questions, I need you to choose three. You are going to choose three that are the ones that you are going to talk about. But when I say to talk about, I don't want you to say only, ah, yes, no. I mean, for the level that you have right now, you are able to express your ideas. So I need you to choose three of the questions, try to get different ones and challenge yourself, okay? Retense un poco. No agarran aquella que usted diga, ah, ese es fácil, ese es fácil, ese es fácil. So choose the ones that you consider that you need to think a little bit about, okay? Choose the ones that you consider that you can give some information about, okay? So choose three. Three questions that are the ones that you are going to answer. You have them on the chat as well. You have them on the chat and you have them here. So I need you to choose three of the six questions, okay? So you have them there. I will give you some minutes for you to choose. Okay, le voy a dar unos minutitos para que escojan. You need to choose three, all of you, okay? Because all of you are going to participate. So please uh, choose your three questions and send them on the chat, okay? Send on the chat the three questions that you are going to answer, okay? For example, if I am going to answer, uh, how often do you do exercise? I'm going to send it on the chat. How often do you uh, do exercise? Okay, the next question that I am going to answer is, for example, uh, what kind, what sports do you enjoy playing or watching? What, what kind of sports do you enjoy playing or watching? Those are my questions. Choose your questions. And the last question that I am going to answer is like, do you think uh, the one about uh, emotional health? Let me see. Do you think, do you think talking about Emotional health is important. Okay. Those are my three questions. Which are your questions? Choose three of them. You also have them in the WhatsApp chat. También las tienen en el chat de WhatsApp por si las quieren ver un poco más a detalle. So you have them there. You have the, the six questions there. Okay, and remember, as you get the questions, as you choose the questions, you have to think about the answer. 
Okay, big, uh, hi Vicky, tell me. Hola Victoria, dígame. Ok, creo que se me desconectó Victoria. So please send me the questions that you choose on the chat. I have one message here. Okay, <laughs> perdón, don't no worry. Hola, hola. Buenas hola, noches. hola Victoria, buenas Disculpen, noches. Disculpen, me tenía ahí inconvenientes con el, con el micrófono, ¿sí me escuchan? La escuchamos perfectamente. Ok, le quito un minuto de, de, de las clases, discúlpenme, solo necesito darles una indicación. Ok. A okay. todos los participantes, por favor, les solicito de la manera más atenta, con urgencia el comprobante de manual, hay algunos que están pendientes, no me lo han enviado, por favor requiero que me lo envíen. También recordarles que ya estamos recibiendo documentos de reinscripción, son muy pocos los que los han enviado. Requerimos que los envíen para que ustedes den continuidad a su proceso formativo, ¿verdad? Importante, no se van a procesar documentos de reinscripción a aquellas personas quienes no nos hayan enviado el comprobante de manual. ¿Ok? Tienen para el, hasta el día jueves, o sea, hasta el día de mañana, para enviarlo, por favor, y los documentos de reinscripción, porque ya estamos armando los grupos y requerimos con urgencia eso. Aquellos que están pendientes, por favor, ponerse al día con eso, enviarlos en la mayor brevedad posible. También la plataforma, chicos. Requerimos que vayan al día, verificar que todas las secciones... Eh, tengan con por lo menos un mínimo del 80% completado. Para esta semana, el día jueves, revisamos y tienen que tener completa sección 4 y la mitad de la sección 5, por favor, ¿ok? Nada más esas indicaciones a brindar. Muchísimas gracias. Pasen feliz noche. Muchas gracias, gracias Victoria. Igual. Gracias, Victoria, Muchas por gracias. la información. Gracias. Vicky, no sé si será posible que me envíe en el chat quiénes son los que están pendientes para estar ahí revisando eso. Ok, perfecto, teacher, yo se lo envío. Bueno, muchas gracias. Ok, chicos, ya ven, de mucha importancia, sé que muchos ya los enviaron, pero eh, el que esté pendiente, hagámoslo rápido para que no se queden sin cupo para el próximo nivel. Así que eh, pongámosle atención a eso. Ya todos tienen información, sino también creo que el día de ayer alguien lo compartió en el chat para que lo puedan hacer la inscripción. Es bien importante porque eso lleva un montón de tiempo, hacer los grupos y si lo hacemos más pronto, dejamos menos tiempo entre grupo y grupo para la siguiente, el siguiente inicio. Entonces, si tenemos los grupos armados, inician pronto. Así que eh, pongámosle mucha, mucha importancia a eso. Ok, so uh, I think most of you have sent about the manual. So please, if you haven't done that, do it. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for the questions that you are sending on the chat. It is very important. Okay, there you go. As soon as you choose your questions, I need you to start writing the answers. Okay, start writing the answers. Start writing some ideas about the answer for you to provide a complete answer. Okay, it's not like, yes, teacher, it's important. I like basketball, I like baseball, right? You can give me more details about uh, your answers. So. Uh, as soon as you choose them, give me details about what you have chosen because we are going to use them, okay? We are going to start with that activity today and we are going to complete it uh, tomorrow with very short presentations, but that's going to be tomorrow. Right now, we're going to start creating the ideas, okay? So I am going to share the screen again, okay? There we go. And if you have them, please send them on the chat. Okay. So that is very, very important. So if you have your questions, please, I will be waiting for that. And I have some questions as well here for us to develop today. I have here. And we were working on this ones a couple of days ago. So I have here a couple of questions and I'm going to choose one for today. 
what, and we're going to talk about this. This is going to be for everybody. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> we're going to choose this one. We're going to choose this question for everybody in the class so we can start practicing this one. It says, the most embarrassing moment during a family gathering. What has been the most embarrassing moment during a family gathering? Do you understand the meaning of this question? In my case, no teacher, no, what does mean gathering? Okay, gathering. A gathering is when you get together with your family. Okay, um, um, yeah. um, it's like meeting. The same meaning of uh, gathering, it's meeting, right? A family meeting. For example, in Christmas, that all the family gets together or the birthdays when all the people get together, that it's a family meeting or a family gathering. The most embarrassing, embarrassing is like, I oh, know, my God. <laughs> the most embarrassing moment during a family gathering. Think about it. ¿Cuál ha sido el momento más penoso durante una reunión familiar? that you have had. It is not necessary that you give me names or anything. It is just to share the situation, right? What has been the most embarrassing moment during a family gathering? Do you have your answer? Think about your answer. I am going to share one. That's the most embarrassing moment during a family gathering. When I was 15 years old, I had a party, right? For my 15 years old. So, my mother prepared this fruit punch for the party, right? It was like for everybody. Yay, yeah, they had fruit punch at the party. The funny part was that some of my friends put alcohol in the fruit punch and they put one bottle, two, three, four, and they were just preparing and preparing more and more fruit punch. So, but the thing is that the fruit punch was for everybody in the party kids, adults, everybody. So everybody in my party were very happy because of the fruit punch. <laughs> and the kids were happy, the old people were happy, my friends were very happy. So everybody in the party were drunk. And we didn't know why, because we were not serving alcohol in the party. And we said like, what's going on? And later on, my friends told me, I put some alcohol in the fruit punch. Me too, me too, me too. And it was like seven of my friends who put alcohol in the fruit punch. But the good thing is that everybody enjoyed the party. They were dancing, they were eating, they were jumping around, they were very happy. So I felt very embarrassed, but everybody said that has been the best party in their lives. So... <laughs> That was my moment, the most embarrassing moment of my life. Right? From my little friends to my older friends, all of them were drunk. But as there was a lot of fruit in the fruit punch, it was not really heavy for them, but everybody enjoyed it. So please be careful when you cook fruit punch for the parties. That's the learning that we have for today. So that's my embarrassing moment in a family gathering. What about yours? What has been that moment on which you say, hey, this and this happened at that family gathering, okay? So you are going to share with little groups. We're going to have little groups of three and we're going to get together and talk about this one first, the most embarrassing moment during a family gathering, okay? So that's our first question. Let's go and share in little groups. I am going to be visiting the groups with your answers, okay? Let's go, accept my invitation, please, to go to the groups. You are going to talk about this one, the most embarrassing moment during a family gathering. Only English, please, no Spanish in the groups. Okay, okay, thank you for all the ones who have joined the groups. Thank you. Okay, Damaris, Emma, Sara. 
Thank you. Group one is complete. Group two is complete. Group three, we are missing Giselle. Group four, we are missing Daisy. Group five, we are missing Emma and Sarah. And group six, we are missing Elizabeth. Ok, so, Sarita, no le he llegado la invitación para el grupo. Ok, le voy a enviar otro. Giselle, no te he llegado la invitación al grupo. Daisy. Daisy, te llegó la invitación al grupo. Y Giselle, mejor. Thank you, Giselle. Solo me faltas tú. ¿No te ha llegado la invitación? Hola Giselle. Ok, ok. So, I am going to... Okay, I will go and check the groups, Giselle. I will come back in a moment. How often do you do exercise? I do uh, exercise mm -hmm. one or twice a week. Están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Si no te las pregunto yo y las puedes And the other question is, what was your last question? concert you attended my last concert was Ricardo Arjona around around 20 or 5 <laughs> oh yeah I went to that one too I <laughs> a, very, <laughs> a very long time Ahí estaba yo también. <laughs> <laughs> we were and, in the same place and the last question what kind of music do you listen? Do you listen when you need to relax? When I need to relax, I listen rock music, rock music, and I can listen to a little bit of uh, bossa nova or maybe jazz, okay. jazz music. Perfect. Remember that this group right now is for you to discuss the question that we had, the last question. What was the most embarrassing moment in a family ah, okay. gathering? Yes, for, okay. for right now, it's just that one. And then we are going to practice all the other ones. So please, okay. right now, let's just practice that one. Let's share a little bit about what has been the most embarrassing moment in a family gathering. Okay. So practice that one and I'm going to come back in a moment. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's the first question. Esa practicamos ahorita. Después tenemos chance para los demás. So, let's go to the next one. I will go to the next group. Okay. Um, the, the, the pudding uh, se me quemó. <laughs> it burned. <laughs> it burned. It burned. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Then was very embarrassing for me, and I want to forget it. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible thing! Oh my god! Yes, it, so it burned. <laughs> oh my goodness! Poor, poor you. Okay, so what did you eat? ¿Qué comieron? Sí, se quemó el budín. Uh, no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 
it was the postre. The dessert. So there yeah. was there was no dessert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry for you. Okay, what about the next ones? Uh, teacher, I, I don't remember, but... Uh, oh, okay, I, I remember in my case. <laughs> I remember and, what it is. Uh, yes, yes, and uh, birthdays of my daughter. Uh, I said ce I celebrate with my with my with my friends. Uh, with your friends. Uh -huh. uh, and I and I say, do you like coffee? And they are they are say they are say yes. They say, uh -huh. yes, I, I yes, I, I like I like coffee. Okay. But I don't uh, uh but uh I didn't coffee in the party. <laughs> <laughs> so people were waiting for the coffee. Yes, yes. Or like yes, Elmer and the like coffee. coffee. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. It, it, they they say yes, but I don't remember that I don't have coffee in the party. <laughs> I didn't have. You say I didn't have coffee in the party. So that's terrible, right? Because they were like, in my coffee? <laughs> and there was no coffee. <laughs> there was no coffee and there was no pudding. So what, <laughs> what can we do here? I am going to go to the next group. Finish sharing, okay? Finish sharing with your friends. Okay, go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What are you sharing about? Did you finish? No yet. Okay. ¿Y quién estaba compartiendo? A ver. Okay, in, in my case, I I try to remember, but I don't remember something in particular that I, that was embarrassing. Well, during... some, something nice that you remember about a family meeting? If it is not uh, perhaps... embarrassing? No, something nice. Perhaps, perhaps the, the most embracing thing we uh, once I had to come uh, uh, to participate in a in a game with a how do you say payaso? With a clown. With a clown. <laughs> well, I, I was the 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 best of the of the, of the party. <laughs> okay, that was like, and the father come to the center and dance. And I, I, I was the I was the play of the of the clown. <laughs> he was playing with you. So yeah, those those moments are nice, right? They are a, a little bit embarrassing, but they are nice in the end because everybody laughs. Okay, Rene, very good. What about Marbelli, Sarita, Daisy? Share a little bit about you, and then I will come back in a sec. Okay, I will just go and check something. Uh huh. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. What was your your embarrassing moments? Share a little bit with me. Uh -huh. Share with me about what you were talking. When I quería votar. Uh -huh. So tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me more. Votar, así como sería, así en inglés. Votar mi soda. Ah, Vote. drop. No, in that case, it's going like. Okay, what happened? Tell me the situation and then I can give you the Okay. Entonces, como votar sería vote. No, no, no. Voy a que votar es de votar, de ir a votar. But the other one is drop. No. When I drop the soda. Drop. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In my case, when I drop my, my soda. Over to you? Over to yourself? In this. Well, that's a, that's a difficult thing. It happens in all the parties. Don't worry. Yeah. 
There is no party uh, without someone uh, spilling the soda. Yeah. It is always very famous. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Emma? What was, your, what was your embarrassing moment? When my niece is original. My niece, my niece. When my niece, um, my daughter, <laughs> When your niece, what? Me botó el bus, cosería. Push me out of the bus, you say. Push you, she, he, she pushed you out of the bus? Oh my God. Were you hurt or something? Te golpeaste? I imagine that you did, right? Oh my God. 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 Okay. <laughs> I don't I understand. I understand that you were afraid. Okay. Good, good. Very good. Okay, so you can keep sharing a little bit. So I am going to take everyone back to the main session. Okay. I'm going to take everyone everyone back right now. And let's go. Welcome back, my little students. Thank you very much for sharing. I was listening to some very curious stories in the different groups. <laughs> so it was like, what? Some of them were very shocking. Some others were very curious and some others were very intense. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that right now. Let me just share my screen. So, uh, there are always some different parties on which everything happens. So raise your hand on the camera if you have been on a party on which someone uh, dropped the drink. Cuando alguien le botaron, le echaron la soda o se le cayó la soda encima. So it, it has happened. Or right? when I was <laughs> serving. Oh, when you were serving. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst. Thing. <laughs> when you when you don't have when you don't have something for the guests. That, for example, that you don't have something to give them or, or that you don't have cake or soda or whatever thing that you say like, hey, we forgot it, right? It has happened to me, right? Quieren pastel, quieren pastel, and there was no cake. <laughs> and like Elmer, that he was like, do you want coffee? Coffee, coffee, and there was no coffee. And they say like, and the coffee, <laughs> we don't have coffee, right? So those are very, those things are very common at the different parties, right? Or at the different gatherings or at the different meetings. So here, when we were answering, it is important that we were we were using a little bit of the relative clauses. When you say, um, a funny moment in my life was when, or was uh, someone that it's very famous in my family, so it's, uh, and you share, right? With the details, with, a little bit of the relative clauses, right? We, we, were, we were going to use in this case, this one. This part of the relative clauses that we have are very, it's very easy because something that you have to remember is that that can be used for both cases, right? When you use relative clauses, you can use the word that to join the two sentences so you don't repeat. In this case, uh, we have here, an example. I am going to show it to you. And it says, it's about a guy and he jump, he joins a corrupt law firm, right? And this, in this case, you have, it's about a guy and you're talking about a guy. It's not a gay, it's a guy. Okay, be careful with that word. It's about a guy and he joins a corrupt law firm. In this case, when we use he, you are talking about the guy. So you are talking about a person. And in this case, you say it's about a guy. He jumps a corrupt film. And when you join this sentence into only one sentence, you say it's about a guy who or that. Both cases are correct. In this case, it is better to use who because you are talking about a person who joins a corrupt law firm. Okay. And in the next example that we have here, when you use which or that for things. It is a thriller, it stars Tom Cruise. 
when you say it is a thriller, it's a type of movie. And when it says it starts Tom Cruise, when you use it here, you are talking about the thriller. You are talking about the movie, right? It's a thriller, which or that stars Tom Cruise. Okay, so it is important. If you are talking about a person in the sentence and you are going to use a relative clause, you can use who, right? But if you are talking about something different, you can use that. Or if it is about an object, you can use which, okay? So in this case, that is the one that you can use for both, okay? In case of doubt, you can use that. Okay, si dicen, ¿con qué le pongo? Le pongo who, le pongo which, le pongo... use that. <laughs> but that is for both. In this case, we have here, have you heard of Webb's West Side Story? Yes, it's a musical. It has some wonderful songs. In this case, what is the word it for? ¿A qué se refiere la palabra it in the second sentence? What is it referring to? It a subject. Aha, but what is it referring to? ¿A qué se refiere o de qué está hablando? ¿A qué se refiere la palabra it en este caso? The musical. The musical, right? And the musical. Is the it a musical. Is it a person or is it a thing? A musical. Is a person or a thing? I think. I think. think, right? So in this case, what is the best option? Who, that, or which? Which. Which, right? Because which. It, it's an object, right? It's just a thing. In this case, if you want to join the two sentences, yes, it's a musical. It has some wonderful songs. How would you make it? Yes, it's a musical. ¿Con qué reemplazaríamos ese it? Which. That which right which. it's a musical which has some has wonderful, some songs. wonderful has songs some wonderful song exactly like that it is a musical which has some wonderful songs that's the way we create a relative clause you don't say yeah it's a musical it has good uh, effects it is beautiful it is fantastic right instead of repeating it 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 all the time you can replace it with which and create a relative clause the next one what's the mu what's the movie schindler's list about it is about an austrian man he saved the lives of many people during the world war ii what is this he referring to it's uh, a Australian man. It's not... About the Austrian man, right? It's a person. Man. What, man. what is the best thing to use to replace this one? That. Who? That or who? If you yeah. know that it's a person, it is better to use who. 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 So, who. who. so if I ask who. you, people, what's the movie Schindler's List about? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta con una relative clause? It is about, it's about an Austrian man who saved the lives of many people during World War II. The lives of the many people during World War II. Very good job, right? Who? Who saved a lot, the lives of many people during the World War II. Very good. What about the next one? Did you enjoy, what did you enjoy reading Stephen King's latest novel? Yes, it was a great book. It was hard to put down. In this one, when you use it here, you are talking about the book. The book. The book. So you can replace it with which or that. Which or that. That. So if I ask you, did you enjoy reading Stephen King's latest novel, people? Yes. Yes, it was a great was book that was hard, hard to put down. To put down. Very good. Which was hard to put down or that was hard to put down. Very good. The next one. Who was George Gershwin? He was an American composer. He wrote lots of fantastic music. What are you going to use to replace he? Who? 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 So tell who? me, who was George Gershwin? 
He was an American composer who wrote lots of fantastic music. Who wrote lots of fantastic music. Very good. And the last one. Who is Steven Spielberg, people? Answer with the relative plus. Who is a movie director who, who made some of the most successful movies of all, all time? Of the most successful movies of all time. Very good. Very good job, right? He is a movie director who made some of the most successful movies of all time. So tell me, who is Tom Cruise, people? Here you have the starting point. He's an actor. Who? Who starts in Mission Impossible. Very good. Who starts Mission Impossible? One, two, three, four, five, and all that. Okay. Star Wars is a movie. Which? Which? Is about... <laughs> uh -huh. which is the about universe. <laughs> the universe the universe very good a star wars is a movie which is about the universe is is a fiction science science fiction science fiction, fiction okay thank you science fiction walt disney walt disney was a famous movie director who Who created the Walt Disney? Who created Walt Disney? Good. The, <laughs> Walt Disney World. Walt Disney World. Something iconic about Walt Disney? Mickey Mouse. Ha! Ah, so you Mickey say, Mouse. Walt Disney was a famous movie director who... Who created Mickey created, Mouse. Who created, who created Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Okay. And Walt Disney was the producing house of Oscar Eduardo's curtains. There you go. <laughs> Without any copyright, right? There you have. Marilyn Monroe was an actress. Who has who, been, who was? Who, who will be crazy. <laughs> A lot of men in the past. Okay. Who uh, who made crazy? Uh, well, uh, in this case, like, who... Um, who was very pretty, who was very famous. And who was song happy, happy birthday, Mr. President. Who sang, right? Who sang happy birthday, who Mr. Sang. President. Nati, you had a question, tell me. No, I just was going to- To answer. Give my idea. Go ahead, yeah, give my, me your idea. Marilyn Monroe was an actress who died very young. Who died at a very young age. Very good. Exactly like that. She died at a very young age. Thank you, Nati. Very good answer. The Wizard of Oz is a musical, which I don't like. <laughs> I don't like that one. The Wizard of Oz is a musical. El Mago de Oz. Which is very famous. Which is very famous, right? Which is very famous all around the world, right? So that is uh, that is the information about this one. Tell me information about your favorite movie. Tell me information about a favorite movie, your favorite actor, actress, your favorite book, your favorite, um, I don't know, song. taking the example of this sentence that I have here. Como los ejemplos que acabamos de hacer ahorita. Uh -huh. There you have Star Wars. You can say, for example, eh, I don't know, eh, La Bala is a very <laughs> famous song that was invented by Hermano Flores. Okay, there you have. Or Titanic is a movie which lasts about four or five hours. Or a the Lord of the Lord uh -huh. of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings was uh, were a movies. No, it is like uh, well, the Lord of the Rings uh, saga. 
Ah, okay. Saga. What What do you want to say about it? Was uh, where are uh, movies? Very very long movie. <laughs> where very long? Uh, where movies which which were very long, right? Okay, okay. Nati, go ahead. Twilight is a movie. Uh huh. Oh, I forgot it. <laughs> Which is about vampires. No, no, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say other things, but I forgot. <laughs> which which I like a lot. I, I like those movies, right? They are kind of crazy in some cases, but I, I, I enjoy them, right? So here we have a little bit of information about Star Wars right? Star Wars are like this kind of saga or series of movies which are very, very famous. And here we have some movie reviews, right? We are going to read these two that we have here. And we're going to start with this one, right? And it says, I have here, a new old hit, a new old hit. And I am going to ask Sarah, can you help me read it, please? Sarita. A new song hit. Yes. Star Wars, Star Wars is back a better thing ever. Sort of. Yes, the soundtrack is clearer, but it's also louder. Yes, there are some new characters. But characters. But characters. Chart. But the old one thing. A little silly, a little silly new. Even, uh -huh. even, even though, even though, it, even though it's a full movie, and like it's the first time I saw it, I expected, expected, I think, expected, expected, expected this to be so much better. My, maybe, maybe yours, Lucas Shore, have made in end, no sé cómo se dice, en, entirely, entirely new movie. Okay, new vocabulary people from this little paragraph. Um, louder, louder, uh, más fuerte, louder. más fuerte, uh, louder. Oyosa, right? Louder. No, do you know what's the meaning of sort of? Sort of. Mm -hmm. Like. Algo así. Algo. Exactly, right? Algo así. Yeah, it says Star Wars is back and better than ever. Sort of. Like, más o menos. Algo así. Yes, the soundtrack, soundtrack is the sound of the movie, right? The song of the movie. The soundtrack is clearer but it's also louder, right? Yes, there are some new characters. Characters are the ones on the movie, the participants, but the old ones seem a little silly now, right? It says like that the old characters compared to the new ones, they look silly, right? Ya se ven como un poco tonto ya, comparado con los nuevos. Even though it's a fun movie and I like it the first time I saw it, I expected this to be so much better. Maybe George Lucas should have made an entirely new movie, right? Not to be recycling characters every time. Okay, entirely new movie. Go with me. Star Wars is back and better than ever. Star Wars is back and better than ever. Okay, thank you, Sarita. You are representing the group. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> open your microphones, please. Star Wars is back and better than ever. Star Wars, Star Wars is, is back and better than ever. Star Wars is back and better than ever. Sort of. Sort of. Yes, the soundtrack is clearer, but it's also louder. Yes, the soundtrack is clearer, but it's also louder. Love Star Wars it. is back and better than ever, sort of. Yes, the soundtrack is clearer, but it's also louder. 
Star Wars is uh -huh. better, better than ever. Star Wars is better than ever. Shut up. Better than ever. Shut up. The soundtrack is better. The soundtrack is better. But it's also louder. It's also louder. Yes, there are some new characters, but the old ones seem a little silly now. Yes, there, yes, are, there are some new characters, new characters but the old ones seem a little silly now. But, but the old no. ones... So but, say, but, but the old ones seem a little silly now. Okay, a little silly now. Little silly now. Remember when you use but, you are contrasting some information. You say like, yes, there are some new characters, but the old ones seem a little silly now, right? You have to use the pronunciation for you to make that contradiction, right? So now if you read the complete first paragraph, you say, Star Wars is back and better than ever. Sort of. Yes, the soundtrack is clearer, but it's also louder. Yes, there are some new characters, but the old ones seem a little silly now. Go ahead. Star Wars is back and better than ever. Star Wars is back and better than ever. Yes, the soundtrack is clearer, but it's also louder. Yes, there are some characters, but they all want to seem a little silly now. You see, that's the difference in pronunciation. You sound better when you use correct pronunciation. Let's continue. Even though it's a fun movie and I like it the first time I saw it, I expected this to be so much better. Even though it's a fun movie and I like it the first time I saw it, I expected this to be so much better. Even though the first time I saw this, I expected this to be so much better. Maybe George Lucas should have made an entirely new movie. Entirely new movie. Very good. So say maybe George Lucas should have made an entirely new movie. Maybe George. Maybe George. Maybe George. Okay. Movie. What happens when you are talking about something that you know very well? Imagine that you love soccer and you are a big fan of what? Of Barcelona or Real Madrid or whatever. And you say, Es que mira, el árbitro no sé qué, no sé qué, no sé qué. Yo sabía que eso era penal. Yo sabía que no era bien. So you use the pronunciation to express your feeling. So it's the same thing here. You say like, ah, you are criticizing the movie, right? It's like for COVID. Do you remember? Todos éramos mm -hmm. doctores. Everybody were doctors in the COVID session, right? In the pandemic, everybody were doctors and experts on COVID. So you say like, es que yo sabía, mira la vacuna, no es que, no es que, no es que. And you were expressing your opinion, right? At that moment. So in this case, you are expressing your opinion about a movie. And you say, um, Star Wars is back and better than ever, sort of. Yes, the soundtrack is clearer, but it's also louder. Yes, there are some new characters, but the old ones seems a little silly now. Even though it's a fun movie and I like it the first time I saw it, I expected this to be so much better. Maybe George Lucas should have made an entirely new movie. So, because you are telling me this with all uh, like respect of the of the kind of movie because you love it, you are an expert on these type of movies. So you have to use that type of pronunciation in this type of paragraphs. Let's go to the next paragraph to see. And it says, what junk, what junk? It's like, it's horrible. They didn't like it. And this one is the contrary, right? In the first one, he was expressing that he liked it and everything. But in this one, when it says, what a junk, it's like, it was a horrible movie. Why did George Lucas spend his money and time on a tired old movie? There is a scene where Luke Skywalker, the hero, is rushing to the spaceship that will take him on his journey to save the princess, some robots, and oh yes, the universe. When Luke sees the old space spaceship, he exclaims, what a piece of junk. I knew exactly how he felt. This movie is just that, a piece of junk. So in this one, it's a bad review. He's saying like, why? 
Why did George Lucas spend his money and time on a tire old movie, right? Go with me. Why did George Lucas spend his money and time on a tire old movie? Why? Did why? George Okay, it's there like, is... porque, teacher, right? There is a scene where Luke Skywalker, the hero, is rushing to the spaceship that will take him on his journey to save the princess, some robots, and oh yes, the universe. There is a scene where Luke Skywalker is When Luke sees the old spaceship, he exclaims, What a piece of junk! I knew exactly how he felt. I, I knew exactly I knew how he exactly felt. How this, this movie is just that. Is just that. This movie is just a piece of junk. A piece of junk. It's like... Mm -mm -mm -mm. What is a movie that you consider a piece of junk? That you say, ah, teacher, what a horrible movie. <laughs> what is a movie that you hate that you say, nah, teacher, that's a waste of time? Which one? Which one? What is a movie that you consider very bad? Only one, only one. <laughs> hey. That you say, I not oh, teacher, what a horrible movie. One day, for example, maybe uh -huh. the Universal Soldier 2. The Universal Soldier 2. Yeah, it's like. The first one was good, but the second one was terrible. <laughs> well, terrible. For, ex for example, a Deadpool, the first one was great, but the second one, horrible. Excuse me, what movie? Deadpool. Ah, okay. <laughs> that it, it is like kind of a, it's a very crazy movie, I right? I didn't see anyone. <laughs> the third is very funny. I didn't watch. <laughs> the first one is good, but the second one is terrible. So, uh, what about, uh, well, I, I don't like the Lord of the Rings. Sorry, I don't like that one. It's not a piece of junk, but I don't like it. It is good. It's art, but I don't like it. What about you? Give me other opinions. Okay, before anything else happens, I will call the attendance. Okay. And remember, if you listen to your name, say here or press it. Oh, here I go, here I go. <clears throat> and we'll go with Ana Julia. Present teacher. Thank you. Byron. Present teacher. Carlo Fernando. Present. Cristina Abigail. Present. Damaris. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen. Present teacher. Elmer Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvia Sofia. Present. Emma Jamilet. Present teacher. Giselle Cecilia. Iris Rosario. Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro. Here. Marbeli Jocelyn. Present teacher. Marlon Ernesto. Present teacher, present. Natalie Geraldine. Here. Nelson Rolando. Present teacher. Oscar Eduardo. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes. Present. Patricia Verónica. Rina David. 
present teacher. Thank you. Patty, Patty. No, Patty is not here today. Okay. Let's continue with Sandra Janet. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Sara Maria. Present teacher. And Saul Arnur. Here. Okay, I'm missing Patty. Okay, perfect. Hey, we almost have perfect attendance. If it is not because of Patty that is missing. Well, so tomorrow we are going to be talking about body language, right? You know what body language is? It is the message that you transmit with the expressions that you do and the movements that you do with your body. Salvadorians are very expressive. So we are going to have a lot of talking on this topic tomorrow. We are going to talk about body language and what does it mean, the different movements that you do. You have homework to do. The three questions that you chose, you have to answer them, okay? You have to answer them because you are going to use them in class. We are going to have this mini group work on which you are going to use them, okay? So please prepare your answers for the three questions and we are going to talk about body language tomorrow, okay? So get ready with that. We are going to use it. Have a wonderful night and I am going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Okay, I see you. you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night.